My mother, Dorothy, was abandoned by her parents as a young girl. She ended up on her own at 14, working as a housemaid. She was saved by the kindness of others. The lesson she passed on to me stuck with me. No one gets through life alone. And she made sure I learned the words from our Methodist faith. Do all the good you can for all the people you can in all the ways you can as long as ever you can. So I went to work for the Children's Defense Fund, going door to door on behalf of children with disabilities who were denied the chance to go to school. I went to South Carolina to investigate the plight of 12 and 13 year old boys imprisoned alongside grown men who had committed serious felonies. In Alabama, I helped expose the racism of segregated academies. In Arkansas, I ran a legal aid clinic that provided representation to poor families and prison inmates who could not afford it. I've been your first lady, served eight years as a senator. Don't let anybody forget what happened here. Then as Secretary of State. But my job titles only tell you what I've done. They don't tell you why. My mother taught me that everybody needs a chance and a champion. And I still hear her voice urging me to keep working, keep fighting for right no matter what. Human rights are women's rights, and gay rights are human rights. I wish my mother could have been with us longer. I wish she could have seen Chelsea become a mother herself. I wish she could have seen the America we're going to build together. America, where a father can tell his daughter, yes, you can be anything you want to be, even President of the United States. It's a simple but powerful idea. We believe that we are stronger together. To be great, and to be small. We have to be as big as the values that define America. And we are a big-hearted, fair-minded country. We teach our children that this is one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Not just for people who look a certain way, or worship a certain way, or love a certain way, or love in the physical. As I look at American history, I see that this has always been a country of we, not me. E, pluribus, unum. Out of many, one. Ever since 13 squabbling colonies put aside their disagreements and united, because they realized they were going to rise together or fall separately. What are you going to do about all that bullying? This election really is about who we are as a nation. I care about people with disabilities. It's about millions of Americans coming together to say, we are better than this. We won't let this happen in America. <laughs> Here, come here, baby. I'll do everything I can, and I'll fight for you as hard as I can. And if you agree, whether you're a Democrat, Republican, or Independent, I hope you will join us. If you believe diversity is America's strength, not America's burden, join us. Black Lives Matter. If you believe the minimum wage should be a living wage, join us. If you believe no one working full-time should have to raise their children in poverty, join us. If you believe that climate change is real, join us. We will defend all our rights, civil rights, human rights, and voting rights, women's rights, and workers' rights, LGBT rights, and the rights of people with disabilities. If you believe that every man, woman, and child in America has the right to affordable, quality health care, join us. If you believe we should finally guarantee equal pay for women, join us.